morning YouTube, Skipper T here. It's summer, spring has sprung, it's a little cloudy out today, but nonetheless, it would still be a good day for a bicycle ride. Now you've bought your new bike, and you're ready to go, but you want to be able to carry some things with you. You want to take your wallet, flashlight, maybe an EDC kit, um, you know, some food bars, energy bars, heck, Maybe even a bolo bag with some wine, some cheese, and crackers and go out and just have a nice leisurely ride all day. Well, how are you going to do that? Got a couple of different options. You can carry a backpack. A lot of us carry uh, camel packs or something similar um, with 70 ounces of water on your back, something like that. Um, you can carry that plus a combination of a small backpack. Um, or the other option is to put a bike rack on the back of your bike. Today we're going to go over the one that I've chosen for my particular bicycles and I have the same rack on both of them. I have a street bike as well as this giant Sedona which is a hybrid combination street mountain bike. Very comfortable, very easy to ride bicycle. But I wanted to carry things with me so I bought a bike, I mean correction, I bought a bag and I bought a rack and I you know, obviously put it on the on the bike here that way I could carry some extra things with me bandanas towels energy bars whatever the case may be so today we're going to go over this rack stay with me we'll get zoomed in and I'll show you some of the features and details of this I chose the Topeak bag and rack for my particular bicycle there were a couple of factors that drove this First and foremost, most all bags have these Velcro tabs on all four corners so that your bag can be attached to any kind of a rack that you put on the back. In this case, I chose the Topeak because there's a little orange knob here. Push down on it and it releases your bag once you get your, this is a black burn light and it attaches directly onto the back of the rack itself which is a great thing because you need a light if you're going to be out and about riding. In this particular case, the Topeak bike bag and rack combination, the rack has this center section here, and it's got an angled piece. I'll zoom in on that here in a minute and show you the brand name and everything. But what's, what's kind of neat about that is that the bag itself has this molded plastic piece, and then I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that, but it's got this flange that runs on either side here. And that flange fits down inside this groove. And then with this orange piece up front that spring loads, goes up and down, it actually locks into the front of the bike rack. So I don't have to take these Velcro tabs down and back and down and back. And every time I put it on the rack, because as we all know, Velcro, though a very cool thing, is a life limited part. So this just slides into this rack that's built right into it. If you can get it in there. <laughs> now, even though I don't have it locked in, it sits securely in there. I just slide the thing forward and it locks in on this forward portion here. Now, I don't have to do anything else except release this tab, slide the bag off the back side of the rack, and I can carry the bag with me anywhere I need to go. Again, it's got that molded piece here. Absolutely very, very cool uh, functionality. And when I bought this several years ago, I didn't see any other manufacturer that made this locking system like this. I think that is absolutely wonderful. Slam it on there and away you go. You don't have to worry about it. I don't have to wear out a life-limited part in these Velcro tabs. And it just stays secure. It has never come off um, like every other bicyclist out there. Um, I've been off-road on this thing. I've crashed, fallen over, done a couple of different bizarre things. And this thing has stayed secure the entire time. So I really, if you're going to get a bike rack, I would suggest the Topeak simply because of this type of functionality. The other thing that I like about it is the rack itself here is built and designed to handle up to 40 pounds, um, which is a lot of weight actually on the back of the bike, but it'll take it. You know, I have loaded this, I've expanded the painters out, I'll show you those here in a second. Um, the overall, the bag is just 
it's great. Holds a lot of a lot of stuff. Um, in fact, I carry an EDC kit here. You know, I've got flint and steel, char cloth, jute twine. Uh, there's some uh, fat wood in there. I carry a wheel patch kit in here. Carry some extra food bars in here as well. This is just a sesame seed type thing. Got some more energy bars that are in here. I carry a bike lock in there. Got an extra bandana. All my bicycle inner tube tools and bicycle tool is all up here in a separate bag so that, you know, no matter where I go, whether I take this bag or not, I've always got a repair kit up under the seat with the extra inner tubes and stuff. Absolute necessity, never leave home without it. Anyway, I'll bring the camera around and we'll focus in on some of these other features here. Stay with me. One of the other things I chose uh, because of the Toe Peak bag are these side compartments. Now, sometimes you can just buy them where they unzip and they open up and they stay where they are. But in this particular case, they're actually a painter. And what a painter is, is a bag that extends out. And this one just folds up. And then voila, it's got a couple of zippers here. It's about two and a half, three inches thick. And it's, you know, going down to the bottom. Comes up roughly to about here on my wrist. So it's fairly deep. That's a good 12, maybe 14 inches there. It comes with this tab down here that you can adjust. And it goes around the three, one of the two flared out points on the bottom of the rack down here. So it can connect down there. That holds it down tight. And now you can, you know, put this in here. Quite literally, when I ride back and forth to work, I can put a pair of pants, a shirt, belt, all that stuff, and even a pair of shoes between the two painters on either side. Um, you know, if I need to take a towel at work here on the top, you can take the handles apart here, but it's also got the bungee cord strap at the top. That allows you to put a lot of other stuff on top if you need to. I don't often have to do that but it's nice to have it if you need that expansion capability. But again, that's just a nice way to, to carry a lot of extra gear with this particular small toe peak bag. Just reach down, unhook it, fold everything back up fairly neatly, zip it shut. And again, now you've got a small manageable bag that you can carry in and out of work if you need to, or. If you're going into a store it even came with a shoulder rack that would tap onto the little d-rings on the front and the back side so a very very versatile bag this top compartment is just basically a rectangle and it's as deep as the bag is and that's approximately maybe six or seven inches it does taper to the front a little bit but again you can carry a lot of stuff with these with these type of bags on the back of your bicycle and they make them where they expand out in different layers and things like that. But so far I have found that this one works just perfect for my for my purposes. Um, I really don't have any, any desire to expand it beyond this or to get a bigger one. I'm not doing a lot of cross country um, like camping and stuff. And if I am, I'm pulling the trailer that you've seen in one of my other videos. So for just to carry a, a bag to go out on a day ride, stuff like that, you know, you're going out with the bicycle club, doing a 50 miler, going somewhere, having lunch and coming back. You know, you can carry all kinds of stuff with you on this, everything you possibly need. In fact, if I go out with a group of people, I'll even throw a first first aid kit in here. Um, I'll take this off and we'll zoom in on the actual rack itself. So stay with me. All right, kids, you can see the name on the rack right there. It's toe peak and that's what the rack looks like on the top it's got a couple of straps here that go to these mounting bolts on your frame up here and then you can adjust it the width the the angle and such I had to twist these to make it fit onto the bicycle because they came they came flat but that's okay that's a pretty simple thing to do or your local bicycle shop can put those on for you and then it just comes right down here and attaches to the bicycle frame. There's usually a couple of mounting places where you can put the, the racks on there and the Sedona bikes 
uh, from Giant come with that all manufactured. This happens to be the Explorer. Let's see if I can get that in frame for you there. Version of this particular rack from Topeak. And again, it's a 40 pounder. It's a little heavier than some of the other ones, but I wanted something that had a little heft and beef to it and something I wouldn't have to worry about it twisting, flexing, etc. Does come on the back. It's got a mounting flange back here on the back. Again, I'm using the Blackburn light systems and it just bolts right on. Bolts right onto the back of this thing. The light goes in and out. Um, the light itself has a little clip on it, as you can see right here. And then it just slides right down inside. Locks into position. It's got a steady, flashing, jumping, and off. So, you know, that way you've got good visibility back behind you, even when you've got your bag on the back. So if you're interested in putting a rack system on the back of your bicycle, I would suggest the Toe Peak system. It's integrated with their bags. They're a little more expensive than some of the other ones, but cost and quality wise and utility wise, I think it's worth every penny. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.